morning, Mike Morrissey here with Milton Martin Toyota. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about the Toyota FJ Cruiser in comparison with the Jeep Wrangler. Two fun vehicles, two outdoorsy vehicles. If you're going to be going camping, uh, boating, uh, with a trailer, getting out into the countryside, both are good vehicles. Both have their pros and cons. Let me show you a couple things on the Toyota FJ in comparison with the Jeep Wrangler doesn't have and some safety, convenience, and uh, reliability on the two vehicles. Up front here, uh, Toyota has on your hood two uh, piston prop rods to hold the hood up. Nice safety feature. Uh, the Jeep Wrangler has the little clips you've got to unhook, and then it's got a prop rod. This, you just lift the hood up, it's good to go. Windy day, you might have some, some issues with that. Also, daytime running lights. Toyota uh, FJ Cruiser comes standard with it. It's not available on the uh, Jeep Wrangler. Um, good safety feature on the vehicles allows you to see you at those certain times of day uh, as you're coming down the road. Braking system on the Toyota FJ Cruiser in comparison to the Jeep Wrangler. Tests show on 60 to 0. The FJ Cruiser stops 22 feet shorter than the Jeep Wrangler. That's the difference of a full vehicle length. Think about the safety factor involved in that, on a full vehicle length and stopping. Uh, disaster or stopping the vehicle. Inside the vehicle, uh, this is a closed solid vehicle. Where the Jeep Wrangler, you have the soft top or you have a hard top. Uh, driving down the road, this is so much quieter driving down the road. If this is your main vehicle, uh, you hear all the wind noise and the soft top. Yeah, it's fun and everything, but after a little while, that gets to be a little bit old. I like to have a little bit of a, uh, a quieter ride going down the road, taking out all the noises and road noise. Uh, safety features in the vehicle. All the airbags that FJ Cruiser has. Uh, Bluetooth. Uh, backup camera. Uh, these are things that are either extra on the Jeep or they're not even available at all. Uh, these are all standard features. A little more comfort in it, um, inside the vehicle, nicer riding vehicle. The Jeep has its purpose, but as a vehicle for an everyday type vehicle, um, the FJ Cruiser, I think, is one that you're going to want to look a little further down the road at. Towing capacity, going back out on the uh, adventure side of the vehicle. Camping, taking the boat, jet skis, uh, snowmobiles if you have them, if you're off in that uh, neck of the woods. This vehicle has a 5,000 pound towing capacity. The Jeep is only about 2,200 pounds. Uh, makes a big difference when you're looking at something and having those features down, uh, going down the road. Also, the uh, Jeep, uh, FJ Cruiser has a backup camera uh, available. The Jeep Wrangler does not even offer uh, a intuitive parking assist or backup camera available on it. It's a great feature to have on the vehicle. And as of 2015, uh, all vehicles are going to be mandated to have it. Another thing, uh, Toyota has jumped the gun a little bit on some of the safety features like that backup camera. Most of their vehicles now have it as standard features. Come on down and check out the FJ Cruiser. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of differences in comparison to the Wrangler. Again, the Jeep's a fun vehicle to run around in, but I think this might be a little bit better picture for you. Thank you.